Western Hotel Ikeja has just been forcefully taken over by the Asset Management Corporation of Nigeria, Amcon. This has to do with the loan that was taken by the Suru Group of Companies that also owns Best Western Hotel. This is actually rendering 450 staffs jobless. More details to be unveiled soon. I said it's a proper invasion by the Nigerian police and it's terrorism. The federal government is trying to cover terrorist group and we have another set of federal government called Nigerian police who are also terrorist group because what happened this morning is complete terrorism. Total terrorism. I was in my room upstairs around 4 a.m. Why some mobile policemen, about 40 of them, stormed in here with two other uh, lawyers uh, from, the, from AMCON. Now, the issue is very clear. If you are coming to take over any property, the courts give you order to come and take over the property. You should be there with your bailiff. You should be there with the court officials. Today, there was no court officials. There was no bailiff because we have action our own uh, processes in court. And the court has stand down other actions pending hearing, which is coming up next week. And they believe that they are not in a safe side. They just came in this morning, chased out all the guests, both local and international guests, giving Nigerian a very bad image. Today we have about 25 white from United States, United Kingdom, Scotland that check out of this hotel and the police went ahead shooting tear gas in a peaceful environment. Now the purpose of tear gas, before a policeman have the right to throw any tear gas, it must be in a form whereby there is just, 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 just disorder or chaos. There was no chaos, you are shooting tear gas on, on, on innocent citizens, shooting tear gas on foreigners, shooting tear gas on, on international guests. This is highly acceptable, unacceptable. And the Inspector General of Police, they keep saying he is aware of this incident. The Inspector General of Police himself should call the Nigerian police to order because under his leadership and this something is going on, it's very, very bad. We are looking for troops to go and contain terrorism. You are bringing 30 troops. 30 troops can hold a state. Why are you bringing 30 mobile policemen to come and take over a premises where people are sleeping early in the morning? 4 a.m. What is your objective? What is this? The matter was in court. The company, the case was dismissed. And then we were supposed to appeal. They didn't appeal. Now you didn't appeal a cause. You now went behind and got a Jankara judgment, whatever you call it. You call it and they came to take over these premises. They came the first time they failed. They came the second time they failed. They came the third time they failed. Fifth time, sixth time they failed. This is the seventh time the police are invading this place. Now we have to go back to court to inform the court of their action. And the court has asked the bailiff to stand aside pending when the, the next hearing will be, uh, will be slated, which is coming up very soon this week. So if they, were, if they obey the law or respect the law, they should respect also the court who asks everybody to maintain status quo. So why are they coming early in the morning around 4 a.m. to keep, to hold everybody here hostage? Two of our guests are in the hospital now, as I'm talking to you, in, in, because they're asthmatic and they could not contend with the tear gas and they're in the hospital. This is really unacceptable. This Pro General Police, they keep using his name to perpetrate all this act. They said the IGs are where the IGs sent them this money. That's what they're saying. So all what they're trying to do, they, they're not ready to negotiate. They're just ready to put about 450 staff jobless. Now they were crying about the economy of the state. This is what the Nigerian police, because this action that happened this money is totally an invasion by the Nigerian police. You can see there's no court belief. Can you see any court belief here? Can you see any of court official? There's no court official. So does the constitution permit Nigerian police to take over property? Does the law permit Nigerian police to start taking over property, chasing people out of their house? It's totally unacceptable. We are going to fight this to the end. And the Inspector General of Police reserve the right to explain to the country, to, 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 the, to the states and the international community why he directed his men to come and invade this place and hold people hostage. You can see everybody outside.